Okay, Tony in Wisconsin says, Clark, years back when I paid off my mortgage, my credit score went down quite a bit, mid-700s down to the mid-600s. Ooh. I, curren- I currently have just two primary credit cards that I pay off monthly and one auto loan. My Credit Karma score is 825. My auto loan will be paid off in a couple of months. Will my credit score go down again when I pay off my car? And if so, would opening another credit card at this time help? Yes. Okay. Multiple credit cards help. When the credit scoring model is done by uh, Fair Isaac, the MyFICO people, or done by the um, by the co-op of the three major credit bureaus called the Vantage Score, they all look for multiple types of credit because they find they have a, a more complete picture. If you have a mortgage, you have a car loan, you have home improvement loan, you got credit cards, whatever. So if you are somebody who this is a success tax, you have no mortgage anymore and you're soon you're going to have no car payment. They don't have as much deep data to go by and that's why their scoring models get confused and may lower your score some when all you have is credit cards. All I have and all I've had for gosh so long I can't remember The only credit I have is credit cards, but I have no problem with my credit score at all because as long as you know how to manipulate that score when your credit card's only, you'll be absolutely fine. Now, what do I mean by manipulation? The the factor that is the second most important factor in your credit score is how much of your available credit you're using. That's roughly a third of what makes up your credit score. So if you keep what's known as your utilization very low, uh, if your credit card only, you keep it down around 10% or less, then your credit score will be absolutely fine even having no other lines of credit. Now, this doesn't mean, oh, well, I pay my balance in full every month. It's the balance reported is the balance on your closing date. Now, if you pay it in full, you pay no interest, but you still are showing a balance. It's the ratio of the available credit you have on cards versus what you've charged in a month on the cards that establishes roughly that third of your credit score. So that's why people who don't have any outstanding mortgage, don't have any other credit at all other than cards, you want to have a lot of available credit because that's what sends your credit score way back up. 